Minister Shukri, colleagues from the media. Dear Same, Ahlan Vasahlan to Jakarta. A warm welcome to Indonesia. It is a great honor to welcome you on your first official visit to Indonesia. This year is an important year for Indonesia and Egypt as we celebrate 75th anniversary of our bilateral relation. The historical bond between Indonesia and Egypt is very strong. Egypt is the first Arab country that recognized Indonesia independence. This strong bond continues. Today, Egypt is Indonesia's third largest partner, trade partner in the Middle East and one of the Indonesia important partner in the Middle East and Africa. Colleague, as you all have witnessed, Minister Shukri and I just signed an MOU on the establishment of Joint Commission, which will be a solid foundation for our future cooperation in various fields. Minister Sukri will also sign the MOU on the Environment Protection and Sustainable Development Cooperation this afternoon with the Minister of Environment and Forestry. Colleagues, allow me to share with you the three important areas in our bilateral cooperation that I discuss in today's meeting. First is on health cooperation. We agree to bolster our commitment in voicing the equal access of vaccine as an important tool to exit the pandemic. In this regard, I mention the importance of exchange of experience as well as best practices in our vaccine industry, as Indonesia and Egypt are both included in the list of recipients for WHO mRNA transfer of technology scheme. In line with one of the Indonesia priorities for the G20 presidency, we also agreed to work together to strengthen global health architecture. Second, on the post-pandemic economic recovery. Egypt is the third largest trade partner in the Middle East. And despite the pandemic, the trade value between our two countries in 2021 has increased by 57.6%, amounting to 1.86 billion. Soon, Indonesia and Egypt will sign the MOU on the establishment of joint trade committee between trade ministers of the two countries. The MOU is expected to expedite the possible preferential trade agreement between Indonesia and Egypt. And we also agreed to further explore greater investment in our two countries. And third, on the education cooperation. I convey my appreciation to the government and the people of Egypt for the great attention provided for thousands of Indonesian students currently enrolled in Egypt, particularly in al Azhar University. And we discussed about the facilitation, access to healthcare for the Indonesian student, especially during the pandemic. And furthermore, we also discussed the promotion of Bahasa Indonesia in Egypt. Bahasa Indonesia is currently offered as the second language course in the Faculty of Language and Translation of Al Azhar University, and we hope to establish an Indonesian language major in the near future. As two countries with the largest Muslim population, we share the same views on the importance to promote tolerance. Colleagues, apart from the bilateral issues, we also exchange of views on various global and regional issues, including the latest development in Palestine, Afghanistan, as well as Ukraine. On Palestine, we share our common concern that even though we are still facing the pandemic and other global challenges, we must continue to support the Palestinian effort for independence. And we agreed to encourage the peace process through resumption of credible multilateral negotiation based on internationally agreed parameters with aim to achieve a two-state solution. Colleagues, finally, Earlier this morning, Minister Shukri paid a courtesy call to President Joko Widodo 
On that occasion, Minister Sukri extended an invitation to Indonesia to participate in the upcoming UNFCCC COP27 to be held in Egypt. And later this afternoon, the Minister will also meet the Minister of Environment and Forestry as well as the Minister of Finance. So, thank you very much, colleague. Uh, my, no, I invite Minister Shukri to share his views. Thank you, Excellency. Dear sister, allow me to extend my sincere gratitude and appreciation uh, to you uh, and uh, to the government of Indonesia for having extended uh, warm hospitality and uh, kind reception. It's always a pleasure to be in Jakarta and to meet with Your Excellency, particularly that we share a long-standing friendship. Today, I also have the honor and the privilege of being received by His Excellency President Udodo, where I conveyed to His Excellency the warm regards of His Excellency President Abdel Fattah Sisi, and I conveyed a letter from President Sisi to his brother, President Udodo, reiterating the commitment to continue to strengthen the bilateral relation and the mutual cooperation between our two countries. The letter also communicated, as you rightly mentioned, Egypt's continuous efforts to, in the preparation for the 27th session of the Conference of the Parties to the United Nations Framework Convention on Climate Change and extended an invitation to His Excellency President Udodo to participate in the high-level segment uh, related to COP27. We believe that His Excellency's participation will uh, enhance the prospects of a successful outcome of COP27, especially in his capacity as chairman <coughs> of the G20. Egypt and Indonesia enjoy strong historical and cultural relations and have ex that have extended for decades. <coughs> both countries have been bound by their mutual historic experiences. They both struggled for independence, initiated Afro-Asian solidarity, and founded the Non-Aligned Movement. Egypt and Indonesia are now working hard to achieve development and welfare for their peoples. This year, we celebrate the 75th anniversary of the establishment of diplomatic relations between our two countries, and Egypt takes pride in being one of the first countries to have recognized Indonesia's independence. Both Egypt and Indonesia cooperate in various areas, both bilaterally in the political, economic, and cultural fields, and educational fields as well, and also as regards security cooperation. We also value the excellent level of cooperation and coordination related to regional and international affairs. Today, I am pleased to announce that we have just signed the Memorandum of Understanding, as you have witnessed, for the Joint Commission that will act as the institutional framework for all of our bilateral cooperation mechanisms between our two countries or on issues of mutual interest, bilaterally, regionally, and internationally. We have agreed to commence the preparation for the first meeting of the Joint Commission at the earliest opportunity. In terms of trade, Egypt is a major trading partner with Indonesia, with a trade volume of almost two billion US dollars in 2021, despite the COVID-19 pandemic. We are keen to work together to foster our economic and trade relations, including to expedite convening the Joint Trade Committee between our two ministerial ministers of trade. We have exchanged views on a number of international and regional issues, foremost among them the Palestinian issue, discussed Libya, Yemen, the situation in, Lib in Syria, uh, interventions in uh, Arab national security by extra-regional uh, powers uh, and the uh, common efforts to continue to combat terrorism and extremism. As it relates to international affairs, we discussed uh, Ukraine and mutually see the importance of uh, arriving at a uh, political settlement of this crisis, its effects on international security and uh, its impact uh, on our economic uh, development, I think, is well recognized. We agree also 
to continue our bilateral consultations and to hold our forthcoming seventh round of political consultations between our two ministries of foreign affairs in Jakarta at the earliest possible time. For, furthermore, we had a fruitful discussion regarding joint cooperation and coordination in addressing climate change given Egypt's presidency of COP27 as well as Indonesia's presidency of the G20. I am going also to have further discussions today in this regard with Her Excellency in the Indonesian Minister of Environment and Forestry and Her Excellency in the Indonesian Minister of Finance. I am also pleased to announce that I will sign with Her Excellency, as you mentioned, uh, the Indonesian Minister of Environment today, a memorandum of understanding for environmental protection and sustainable development cooperation. In conclusion, I look forward to working closely with my dear friend, Her Excellency, the Indonesian Minister of Foreign Affairs, as well as other distinguished ministers of the Indonesian government during my visit and subsequently to achieve the common aspirations of our two brotherly peoples and enhancing our bilateral relations at all levels. Thank you so much. Thank you very much, colleague.